Welcome to Mr. UFC Vegas Fight Club TV. I am Kyle, your host. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome to the Let's Chat video. This is the area that we are going to have a conversation during Fight Night 131, Rivera vs. Marias. And uh, we're basically going to real-time have conversations there. We're going to talk about our bets that we have placed, bets that we've won, bets that we've lost, bets that we're looking to place, and maybe get some of our money back uh, as the card goes on. So I will actually be home for this one. Uh, last week I was down at the beach house, and uh, prior to that we were in, in uh, Florida. We've kind of been all over the place, so um, it's good to be home, being able to watch all the fights to, uh, tomorrow night. So uh, definitely will be involved in the conversation going on tomorrow. So um, before I get into my hero parlay, that's uh, something that we always do here on the channel and it's a fun thing that we do, put a little bit of money on to win a large amount of money, have eight plays that I'm going to be uh, going over and again I do not bet these individually. There are two plays that I do bet individually and they're always in my hero parlay which are my best bet as well as one or two other plays that I'm going to be placing, you know, a unit or, or whatever it may be straight. And we talk about that in our prediction video, which is already out. So we'll get into all of that. But the one thing I just really wanted to, to kind of hear your opinions on is something that is really kind of coming out more and more um, within the UFC, within, within MMA. And it's really this weight situation. Um, and, you know, we, we had Mackenzie Dern and she was, you know, seven, eight pounds over and uh, she was slammed completely for really not caring, um, you know, on her weight, they're saying. And she didn't really care of basically giving up some purse to not guarantee a victory, but to have leverage in that fight. And uh, she was able to get the victory there. And now you've got um, Darren Till who was three pounds overweight and, uh, you know, up up until uh, at weigh-in and then was able to, again, give up some of his purse and get another, uh, get a victory. And that's another victory for people that have not made weight. Um, and uh, basically now they're saying year to date, they are seven and one with uh, fighters that are missing weight and actually continue to fight or actually get a chance to fight and what happens they get the victory so it's interesting to see kind of how things are playing out there want to know your guys opinion you know i know that you know a lot of people are now saying it's cheating or it's this or it's that and just curious to kind of hear your opinion since it really is becoming such a topic within the ufc so i just figured i'd kind of pop that question in here to see what you guys think because really on my side of it uh if they're it's not cheating if the ufc is allowing this you know, they're, and the fighters are agreeing to these fights. That's the way that I'm seeing it. I'm really seeing the fact that, you know, obviously any, you know, uh, Thompson would, I would say he would look bad, but of course they've got a sold out arena the night before, you know, the guy he's fighting doesn't make weight. I mean, it is a very, very tough situation for really, really the fighter that made weight. It's a lot of pressure on that fighter to say, yes, I want to continue to fight. And is it at the end of the day, leverage? Is it more? I believe there is an advantage. I think there's without a doubt advantage to that. That's why there's weight classes. And, you know, when another guy comes in much heavier, there's going to be, you know, a situation where he's going to have a little bit more um, uh, weight to him, whether it's going to be, he that's really more where he's really hydrated. So there's a lot of things that go into it. Wanted to pop that question in here. Let me know what you guys think. And if you have not yet done so, subscribe to this channel. It's UFC Gambling, all in one spot, Fight Club TV. Get involved. We are very active here in the community. So first, we're going to get into um, the hero parlay here. And the first ones that we're going to be talking about, obviously, are my plays that I have straight. So First one is the best bet of this card, and uh, it's Jimmy Rivera. If you want to hear more on the breakdown of this card um, and, and my best bet play, as well as my other uh, one unit play, uh, that's all in the prediction video. But we have Jimmy Rivera. He's a two unit best bet play for me right now. Best bet is 18 and seven for the year, plus 16.3 units. So we're gonna uh, have him obviously in our hero parlay. Really interested to see where that's going. Hearing a lot uh, more and more people on Marlon Marias, um, but uh, you know I feel very good about um, Rivera, and I think he really gets the job done with his wrestling and his cardio. So we'll see what happens there. That's going to be one of my plays. The other one is going to be Jake Ellenberger uh, over Ben Saunders, and uh, this one. 
Both guys are, are definitely glass houses when it comes to their chin, but I think that Ellenberger is, you know, he just turned 33. I think he's got, a, a, you know, a lot more UFC in him and uh, been through some wars, fought some amazing fighters throughout his career, won some, lost some, you know, he's 13, uh, 31 and 13 is his record. I just think that Ben Saunders is on his way out. I don't think that he's got any opportunity here to really do anything, even, even with his reach advantage. He doesn't really use his reach advantage very well, and I think... Uh, Ellenberger's kicks will definitely be a big part of this, but I think throughout a three-round fight, I just don't think that, uh, you know, it, over the last few fights for Saunders, he's gassed out, he's looked really lost in there, he takes a lot of damage, so both these guys were knocked out pretty, uh, uh, pretty brutally in their last fight, so it'll be interesting to see what goes on here, but my two individual bets for this card is Jimmy Rivera and Jake Ellenberger on this card both of them obviously in the hero parlay then the next one we're going to be talking about is walter harris versus daniel spitz and um i i'm not really big on daniel spitz uh you know he's six and one in the ufc i think that he or in his in his career um i just think that walt harris has a little bit more to him daniel spitz when he fought um mark godbeer he just really gassed doesn't have much really in the tank did get a victory in his last fight and a nice win, but I think Walt Harris gets this victory, so we're going to have him in the parlay. The other one is kind of a gimme here, uh, uh, Gregor uh, Gillespie. I think Gregor is is definitely a big talent. I think he's going to go very far in the UFC. He's a world-class wrestler. If he really pieces together his stand-up game, he's going to be very scary moving forward. So they're kind of moving him into, this is not an easy fight for him, but I think he gets the job done here. So we're going to have him go in there as uh, another play, uh, Gregor Gillespie. And uh, another fight here, um, uh, Gleason Tebow. We're going to have him in this. And this is an interesting fight because you know, Desmond Green is actually, uh, I think he's uh, he, he's a nice talent, but Greg Gillespie, um, I'm not sorry, uh, uh, not Greg Gillespie, uh, Gleason Tebow. Tebow is a guy that, you know, was a steroid uh, freak back in the day, and now he's coming back to the fact he's got a whole new uh, outlook here where he's not doing steroids. Um, it was pretty obvious way back in the day, uh, even we had a conversation about him when, um, uh, when he fought um, uh, Khabib and who won that. And, and that was the one where Ferguson had said that uh, uh, Tebow beat uh, um, uh, Khabib. So very interesting how, uh, uh, you know, that whole breakdown of it. But I really think Tebow gets the job done here. He is a big underdog, but I think that he's, you know, um, you know, Green is good. I just don't think he's had the level of experience that Tebow has. So I'm going to go with Tebow in the hero parlay. And um, the next one is going to be, and sorry, I'm going over these a little bit quicker this time. Uh, popped in that quick question about the weight situation. One here from you guys there too, but kind of kind of really uh, quickly go over these. And um, the other one is going to be, which I think will be actually a fun fight, opening up the main card, uh, uh, Volante versus Alvi. This fight, um, you know, I kind of was back and forth on it. Uh, you know, Sam Alvey, he's he's actually, I don't think he's he's looked too bad. Uh, he, they both are coming off some losses and then just both got victories. Uh, Sam Alvey actually just called out Volante for this fight. Sometimes I like going with the guy that makes the call up because maybe he feels confident about this fight. But I just think that Sam Alvey is just, he does not put enough output. Um, when he's in the cage. I just don't think that he does enough. Then Volante on the other side keeps his uh, head on the center line, doesn't have any head movement, and you know gets popped in the face constantly, does not really move around the cage very well. Um, but I'm going to give it to Volante here. I think that he just does enough to get the victory. So uh, we're going to go with him to get this victory here over Sam Alvey. And uh, the last two, I'm just going to package them together. I'm going with the Tamor brothers. I'm going with Daniel and David Tamor. Uh, going to get them both in there. Uh, I actually think that they're both pretty good. I actually like uh, a Daniel uh, in this fight. I think that he's he's got ability. They're both actually pretty quick fighters and, and fairly well-rounded as they continue to grow within the UFC. So I'm going to pop them both in there in the hero parlay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight plays uh, that we're going to have in this hero parlay 
if this was to hit, it would be a monster parlay because uh, I've got a couple big underdogs in there as well. But again, I do not bet these individually. The only two that I have bet straight are Rivera and Ellenberger in uh, this event. So if you want to hear the breakdown, go check that out on my channel. And uh, there you have it, fellas. There is the breakdown for this card. And uh, again, we're going to, in this video, talk more tomorrow. Um, yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Um, it, it's got me all confused here with uh, the, the fight on, on Sunday and then, you know, pushing this one to the Friday. So it's kind of been a, a little bit of a scramble here to get all these videos out. So there you have it. We're going to have conversations in this video tomorrow on our plays, our bets, as we're moving forward. Hopefully we're all going to be cashing in tomorrow. We're all on the same team here looking to make some money. And this is Mr. UFC Vegas, Fight Club TV. Thank <laughs> you.